as well as I know, that the government functions for the funders and not the people. And we know this because of something that happened on January 21st, 2010. Citizens United. The second anniversary is tomorrow, and we all have our interpretations of Citizens United. We all think we know what it means, but 80% of people agree on one thing. 80% of people agree that Citizens United was wrong and bad and terrible and needs to be torn down. 80% of people. And yet, two years later, we're still here. We're still here having this conversation, debating strategies, talking about if we need an amendment or legislation or a bill or more meetings. We're still here talking about this because 80% of people can't agree. We can agree that Citizens United is a problem, but we can't agree on what to do about it. And that's what Root Strikers cares about. So Root Strikers believes that part of the problem is that we don't have enough people in the room. That 80% of people know that Citizens United is a problem, and yet those people can't find the same page together. We can't get together. And Root Strikers knows that until we can get all of those people in the same room talking at the same time, we can't actually have a government by the people and for the people, because then we're missing some of the people. So what do you that is a very good question. So, Root Strikers is kind of brainy. We're kind of academic -y. Um, We're not very good at doing things simply, uh, but we're trying. We're trying really, really hard. So what we did was we made a children's book. Uh, we made a children's book about Citizens United. Mike. We made a children's book about Citizens United. We called it Goodnight Democracy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, we illustrated it, so even if you don't want to read it, you can look at the pictures and probably get what it's about. Um, and we plan to distribute this online, en masse, to anybody who wants it, who wants to know what the real problem is with Citizens United. Can you read us a couple of pages? Um, I would prefer not to. <laughs> um, I'm, not, I'm not a very good children's book narrator, but I would love to have someone else do it. 